welcome back. This morning on Core Explorers, we're getting a rare glimpse into the creative mind as we mark the 24th year of Portland Open Studios. This weekend, more than 100 local artists are inviting you into their workspaces to see their art. Core Harlan joins us live with a look at some of the things you can see up close and personal. Core? Yeah, this is a cool way to experience art. And I'll tell you, Portland Open Studios, about 120 artists actually in the Portland area. They'll be they'll open their studios this coming weekend. So as you mentioned, Emily and Travis, you can actually go into the place where the artists do the work. You can look over their shoulder. You can ask them questions. You can see a lot of cool stuff. And I'll tell you something, when you go this year, you're going to see a lot of technology at work with art. How exactly does that work, you ask? So we're at the home in the studio uh, this morning of Nathan Jensen, who's uh, an artist here in Portland. He has put this picture together, right? Now that's a pretty cool picture, right? He's uh, it's kind of a little design there. But now using some animation, some, some virtual reality, you can scan a QR code and make that picture that Nathan has drawn do a little dance for you. You can you can see the little things kind of swirling in and out of there like a hurricane, and little messages have come through there, and that uh, is just real cool. Let's bring Nathan in here right now, and then uh, Saib, I will have you dial up that one over there too. So get your get your app ready. But this is really bringing. Um, I mean, you're an artist by nature, but you're having to learn a little bit about technology, and and I'll tell you, it really seems for for a lay person like me whose baseline is professional wrestling, I really like looking at art. Neat. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's a whole new medium to explore. I mean, I'm not limited by the flat canvas. I can uh -huh. bring it all the way into the space, uh -huh. and things can happen. Uh -huh. you, can, you can manipulate and change what you're seeing, and your experience looking at it is different from the other guy's experience looking at it in, a, in the same room. Got two minutes to go. Let's show them the wine bottle trick here. So I've come on over here. Now you can do the same thing with a wine bottle. Get a little QR code. Now this uh, wine label is uh, important. Why, Nathan? Um, this is a wine company here in Portland called Teutonic Wine, uh -huh. and I just came to them. They had such unique things happening. We have. Uh, um, and I said, can I do a wine bottle thing? I was just experimenting. I've been learning and trying out new tricks uh, uh, to to. See. Getting a lot of the spinning donut. There it is. Okay, hang on just a second here. Right. It's coming. I believe it. Don't go away. It's coming. We're getting that spinning donut thing going on there, but it's coming up here. What's going to happen is, though, this app will unfold here. It will illuminate the label on the wine bottle and then make things jump out of the wine bottle, which I have seen. It's way cool. It's way cool. Well, let's work on it. Let's go over to the other thing. Keep working on it. Don't give up on it. Keep working on it. And we'll go over here where Virtual Core has been standing here with a microphone in his hand and a great big head here. So we are actually, with the use of cameras, we're actually in Nathan's living room. There's our virtual people right there. There we are. There's Bradley right there. There's Nathan. There's me right there, right? Okay. So we're virtually in his living room. And with a few manipulations of a keyboard, we can walk down the hallway. We can turn to the left and in we go to a uh, art museum an art gallery uh, that is actually in Berlin it's a renowned um, uh, um, a renowned gallery of some of some impact and import with Nathan's, Nathan's pictures on the wall. Nathan has done all the artwork there. So that's really cool in the sense that you can, you can put your artwork in a place uh, that, that's famous. You can also join other people virtually, yes. right, from all over the planet. All they need is an internet connection and a cell phone, and they can talk to you about your art, stand in front of your art and experience it together, right? We can do it together, yes, from anywhere in the world. Did you get the, did you get the wine bottle working yet? All right, let's try it. Let's take you out on the wine bottle trick here. Travis, Emily, and Kelly, check this out now. Here's the wine bottle again, right? It's a normal old looking wine bottle. And let's put that on there. All right, now watch what happens. See the dude jumping out of the wine bottle? Right there. Look at that. Make him jump out again. That was really cool. So he's sitting there. You scan a little QR code, and the guy sits there. I don't know what he's doing. But uh, yeah, it's way cool. Way cool. So this is where technology is meeting art. Portland Open Studios this coming weekend. This is this is uh, position 103, Gallery 103. It's Saturday and Sunday from 10 to 5. Go to PortlandOpenStudios.com for a map of all 116 locations. And don't forget to stop by and say hello to Nathan here in 103 up here near OHSU because uh, art has met 
uh, the uh, virtual world in a pretty cool way, and he's doing some pretty cool things with computers, with art, yeah. and virtual reality. Very cool. Thanks, Cor. I, I like that last example. That was mm -hmm. pretty fun. The QR yeah. code stuff. And